Hello, class. Hello, guys. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, Alejandra? Good, teacher. I'm fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. How was your day today? <laughs> how was your day today? Alejandra? Hello, teacher. How was your day today? I don't understand, teacher. How was your day today? You don't understand? Today, th this day, how was your day? Uh, my day is... Um, Uh, very, very good. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Olga. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Very glad to yes. hear that. Okay. Hello, Marlene. Marlene? Is Marlene here? Or maybe not. Maybe she's not here. Marlene, can you hear me? No? Okay, I guess she's, she may not be here. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Argelia, hello, Argelia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. It was a little uh, a busy day, but really good. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. Yeah, sometimes we have busy days, right? But and the important thing is that they're good days, right? Yes. Okay, yes. good, good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, all right. Um, Suleyma Rodriguez, I, um, I think we're still having problems with the camera. I can't, like, it looks like your, your camera is on, but it's black, so I, I can't see you. Or I don't know if it's just me, but I can't see her. Can you guys see her? Suleyma Rodriguez? Maybe not. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, guys, welcome to today's class. I'm happy to see everybody. Um, I'm happy to um, that you guys are were able to connect on time. That's excellent. Um, we are going to um, we're going to start with um, our attendance. Okay. Um, give me a moment. Okay, all right, let's see. So I have um, Alejandra. Alejandra, is Alejandra here? Alejandra, can you hear me or? Mm. 
Did she have a problem? Did she just disconnect? Oh no, she's there. She's there. Alejandra, can you hear? Teacher me? person. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good. Uh, what about Cristina? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Cristina. And Annie. Annie. No, Annie's not here. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, Mari? Mari? No? Carolina? Present teacher. Good oh, evening. Very good. Good evening, Carolina. Um, and Christy? Present. All right, welcome, Christine. And Herson? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Herson. Thanks. And we have Karina? Present. Okay, welcome, Karina. And, <coughs> excuse me, Linda? Linda? No, Linda. Okay. Uh, my, uh, no, sorry. Julia. Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Julia. Thank you. And uh, Nicole, sorry, Mar Marlene. Marlene? Marlene? I'm here. Okay, good. Welcome. Okay, and Maida. Maida. No, Maida. Okay. What about Miguel? Miguel? No? No, Miguel? Okay. Nelson? Nelson? No, Nelson. Okay. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay. Um, and Olga? Present teacher. All right, very good. Welcome, Olga. Thank you so much. Hey, Rafa. Rafa. No, Rafa's not here. Okay. Um, and Sinaida. Sinaida. Okay, uh, what about uh, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay. Very good, welcome. And Stephanie, Ar uh, sorry, Argelia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent, welcome. And Nancy? Nancy? No, Nancy? Okay, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, Karen, Karen, Suleyma Melgar, Suleyma Melgar, and Carla, Carla. Okay. Ok, bueno, um, antes de en cualquier cosa quería eh, decirles algo. Eh, tenemos cuatro días más de clase y ahorita um, si alguno de ustedes eh, quiere repetir um, una sesión de, uh, de uno a uno, solo mándeme un mensajito, ¿verdad? Ya sea por WhatsApp o por, por Zoom para poder reprogramarlos para 
eh, cualquiera de estos días, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere aclarar algún punto o siente que, que ah, pues si hay nuevas preguntas eh, desde la vez pasada que tuvo su sesión, solo me, me avisa para que podamos ah, programar, ¿ok? All right, so I'm just going to say the names of the people that I didn't hear just to make sure that I don't, um, that I, I haven't missed anybody. So I didn't hear Annie, Mari, Linda. I'm here, teacher. Oh, there's Linda. Present. Okay, welcome, Linda. Thank you. I didn't hear Maida and uh, Miguel. Yeah. Present teacher. Hello. Present, present. Okay, present. Good. excellent. And Thank Nelson you. and Rafa and Sanaida. I'm your teacher. Oh, okay, great. Welcome, Rafa. Thanks, teacher. Okay, and Sanaida. Sanaida and Nancy. And Juan Carlos, and Karen, and Sulema Melgar, and Carla. Present. Ah, wonderful. Welcome, Carla. Okay, good. All right, excellent. So that's those uh, are the people that we have. Okay, good, excellent. Um, ah, antes de cualquier cosa, chicos, um, quería comentarles, les, les diré en español para que 100% claro. Um, me imagino que ustedes ya saben que se les mandó los eh, documentos ahí para el próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, ya saben que la fecha máxima para poder entregar, bueno, eh, sería para ese viernes, ¿verdad? Creo que es um, que tienen que entregar. Entonces, um, si es posible poder hacer como. Um, yo sé que en algunos casos, la mayoría de ustedes, quizás sus empresas se encargan de eso, ¿verdad? De mandar los documentos. Si ustedes no, no, no tocan esos documentos, pero lo que sí les sugiero es de que esté al pendiente de que si su empresa en efectivo ha mandado los documentos. Eh, entonces, um, quizás mañana cuando se presente el trabajo, asegúrese, vaya a Recursos Humanos o quien sea que sea la persona encargada de eso y pregunte si ya lo mandaron y si no, pues hacer un poquito de presión, ¿verdad? Porque um, sí, ya estamos en últimos días, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no, se van a quedar afuera, ¿verdad? Y pues no queremos que eso suceda. No sé si alguien tiene alguna preguntita sobre eso. ¿No? Dicho hasta el 28 tenemos, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Hasta el 28 tenemos para enviar la documentación. Uh, no, sé, no sé si es el... el, el para el viernes o para el lunes, pero para, para ser más seguro, a, trate de hacerlo para el viernes. Okay. Para, para que de eh, si ya se tienen todos, entonces se mande. Y así no atrasamos también la, el, la ¿cómo se llama? Ay, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Um, el, el proceso también de... de, de de empezar el, la, la, el curso, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que entre más tarde metemos papeles, más tarde empezamos, ¿verdad? Entonces significa de que um, tenemos que hacerlo temprano para que de esa forma no nos estemos atrasando. Porque acuérdense que eh, cada vez que um, nos atrasamos un poquito, pues de, de poquito en poquito, ya incluso se nos hace un curso completo, ¿verdad? Al final del año terminamos tal vez, um, porque uh, acuérdense una cosa, que uh, en, en, al final del año tenemos límite eh, para, o sea, por ejemplo, por decirle algo, 
eh, nosotros no podemos empezar, digamos, el curso eh, terminó en la última semana de noviembre. Ya no podemos tener otro curso en diciembre porque el eh, SAFOR pide que todos los cursos de ese año se terminen ese año y ya para entonces ya no nos queda suficiente tiempo para terminar el curso antes del año. Entonces, por eso es de que uh, para que no nos vayamos atrasando y termine pasando algo así, ¿verdad? Y eso significa que nos atrasamos más y para graduarnos también va a tomar más tiempo. Entonces, aseguremos de siempre mandar los documentos a tiempo para que empecemos cuanto antes, ¿verdad? No sé si, si tiene sentido lo que acabo de decir. Sí, teacher. Ok. ¿Tienen alguna inquietud o pregunta que les pueda ayudar a aclarar? ¿No? No, dicho. Ok. Bueno, ok, excelente. Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, entonces empezaremos um, con uh, nuestra Mr. Classy. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I'm going to present the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Um, can you see my power? I just hold on. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So this is the course in English for Work program, Intermediate Module One, and the topic for today is how to use will. It's day number twenty-two, and the facilitator is Jessica Lisette Guerrero. Okay, all right, so before anything, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be um, looking at the employee surveillance program. So um, how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? And could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? All right, so do we understand inadequate? Inadequado, teacher. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Remember what I told you last time, use what we call cognates. Cognates are words that are very similar from one language to the other. So it, this is not exactly the same word as in Spanish, but it, it's very similar, inadecuado, right? So it's very, very, very similar. So you can say, ah, that it's the first time maybe you see this word, but you can identify what it is, okay? So always use that technique. It's very helpful, okay? Um, okay, so, um, so do we understand a crisis management plan? Do we understand a crisis management plan? No. No, no idea no. what crisis management plan is? Un plan de gestión inadecuado. Okay, but but crisis management plan is is my definition about the inadequate crisis. Yeah, what to do uh, with crisis? Not crisis, but crisis. Ah, uh, crisis. Okay. Uh huh. Crisis. Okay, exactly. What to do in a? What is the plan to what to do in a crisis? Obviously, we're talking about your jobs, right? We're not talking about 
you know, at a, a, it's not something personal. It's not a personal crisis. It's a crisis at work. Okay. Now, inadequate. Inadequate means that it's not the right one. Okay. And could a lack of communication, do you understand lack? Do you understand lack? No, teacher. Me no. Okay. Lack means that it doesn't exist. Okay. So uh, if you, you want communication, which is good, right? But if the communication doesn't exist, there is a lack of. It's missing. Okay. So how would you say lack of in Spanish? Demasiado. Falta. Falta. Yeah, exactly. Falta de, right? So lack of communication. So the communication does not exist. Okay. So could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? Okay. Do you understand fail? Falla, fallar. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, fallar or um, that it's not successful. We can say that um, it's not success, that, that there's no success. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, now, uh, mitigating financial loss. Do you understand mitigating? Mitigating means that if we have something that is bad, okay, so something's quite bad, and we wanted to make it, it less bad, okay? So yes, it's bad, but we don't want it to be so bad. So we wanted to make it less bad, okay? Yeah, this is very similar to Spanish. How do you say in Spanish? Mitigación. Exactly. Yeah. Financial loss. What is financial loss? Pérdida financiera. Pérdida financiera, right? So we're trying to, in other words, there's financial loss, right? Like, uh, like in the pandemic, right? There's a financial loss, but we don't want it to go so bad. We want it to um, be a less bad, right? So instead of going like this, let's make it go like this, right? So it's still, it's still going down, but it's less. Okay, does that make sense? Do you understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So in other words, if you don't have good communication, would that cause the crisis management plan to not be successful? if you're trying to make the financial loss less? That is the, the question. Okay, so I'm going to get you to discuss these two questions with a partner. Okay. Um, they're in your book, so don't, don't worry about it. You don't, have to, um, you don't have to copy them. They're in your book. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to give you about seven minutes to discuss these questions. Remember, talk, okay, talk, 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 talk in English, no Spanish, try to eliminate Spanish. Imagine that your partner 
Okay, imagine that your partner does not speak Spanish. Okay, if you imagine your partner doesn't speak Spanish, you can't speak to them in Spanish, right? Okay, so pretend your partner doesn't speak Spanish, I have to speak to them only in English. Okay, are we ready for the, are we clear on what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, here we go then. Let's open the rooms. Uh, Cristina? La, la sacó. Está, está muted. No, no, no hay sonido. Hello, teacher. Hello. La, la sacó. El... Estoy con el teléfono, pero me voy a cambiar. Me puede mandar con Carla Vanessa. ¿Con quién? Carla Vanessa. Carla. Ok. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Vamos a mandarla a ahorita. No hay problema. Number one. Who well, are you defined in medical for this And number one. Mm. Number one, I I think about like a like a communication when uh, the people or the staff. <sighs> mm, number one. Uh, uh, as a bad strategy, strategy that leads to strategy. Be strategy. what strategy strategies this did you say strategies 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 okay, I need to be in 
Maybe you say, you say, maybe, maybe. But the strategies, I like strategies. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Assess yeah. your idea. Mm. Hello. Hello, teacher. Herson not connecting, teacher. No, Herson? Herson? Are you there? Herson? Yo le estuve llamando, pero no. No, no responde. Herson? Not there? No, no, teacher. Lo que sucede es que como estoy trabajando ahorita, estoy en no Santa me han puesto un turno de noche en la semana. Mm. En la computadora estoy conectado y cuando salgo a dar, porque tengo que ir a ver a la planta, estoy en el teléfono. Entonces ustedes me han mandado a dos grupos. Estoy con Karen y ah. Y aquí en el teléfono estoy con, con Miguel, creo. Ah, miren, no me había percatado de ese detalle. Sí, sorry, teacher, pero como me, cuando me toqué la planta, me llevo el, el teléfono con los auriculares para estar escuchando. Y ahorita ah, que, que, ya, que, que yo escuché que habíamos que trabajar con pareja, me vino rapidito. <risa> ok. Con Karen. Ah, pues Miguel, uh -huh. lo, voy a, lo voy a pasar ahí con ellos para que... Thank you. Uh, ok. El... Gracias, teacher. Thanks. Sorry. Thank you for telling me. Ok. The objectives don't clear for the manager. I I I think that the objectives, Caroline, mm -hmm. can you hear me? Um. Okay. I think and the number one. Sí, sí. I think when the objectives. Uh, diría yo vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos are a ver. not clear the manager eh, organize organize eh, bad bad eh, desde ¿cómo se dice desde? things mm, The manager, voy a escribir la idea, pero, pero más o menos. The manager. Eh, oh, just a minute. Es que quiero decir que que el gerente desde un inicio hizo un plan de gestión, no, perdón, un plan de crisis inadecuado mm -hmm. en la organización de dicho plan. When the manager start the, organa, the organization about the plan, plan, mm -hmm. In the manager organize, organize uh, this bad, 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. bad, uh, bad, uh, in a, in a, in a prayer, try, crisis managed plan, said like I said. In my case, I think. Number two, maybe, maybe is lack of vision uh -huh. on goals. Falta de visión los objetivos. Lack uh -huh. of vision on goals. Cool. 
Do you understand me? Um, we write about the the objectives. Mm -hmm. Don't but the manager uh, uh, number one sería the manager organized but in adequate crisis manager plan uh, from from the beginning beginning, beginning. desde el inicio o sea el manager organizó mal eh, y organizó mal el plan de crisis Ajá. inadecuado desde el inicio. Uh -huh. Pero la pregunta es cómo lo detecta usted. ¿Cómo lo defino? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es? Bueno, para definirlo hay que saber qué, cuál es el qué es el plan de gestión de crisis inadecuada. Exacto. Ya, primero hay que saber eso porque yo no puedo definir algo si no lo conozco. Do you understand what a crisis Plan, management plan is? Do you understand crisis? Yes. Yeah. And management? Yes, too. Yeah? Yes. yes. Do you understand crisis and management? Oh. Do you understand crisis? Carolina, do you understand crisis? Um, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, for me, um, for me, um, the manager organized uh, by inadequate, inadequate. Okay, no, okay, but. Carolina, listen, listen to my question. Do you understand the word crisis? Do, do you understand the word crisis? Only crisis. Solo crisis. Yes. Ah. Yes, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Crisis. Uh... You understand the word crisis? Yes, pero eh, para management. Para mí, Do you understand management? Management? What is management in Spanish? Eh, es que crisis para mí. Es algo inesperado, pero algo que se da por una mala organización, es lo que yo quiero decir. Ok, but, but, okay. But wait a second. Just, just, o sea, no, no se me adelante, solo escuche mis preguntas. Do you uh -huh. understand the word crisis? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, ok, good. Do you understand the word management? Uh, manager. No, not manager, management. Management. Uh, manejo. Ah. Uh, okay. Manejo. Well, okay. So what? So ah, the, es el manejo de la crisis. 
Exactly. It's a plan to manage the crisis. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's not the proper plan. It, the plan is inadequate. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not the correct plan. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Entonces... Um, yes, yes, teacher. Okay, okay, Caroline. Okay, oh, the other day, Vaya, eh, uh -huh. es entonces eh, the management eh, crisis eh, eh, inadecuado and the and the disorder are cómo se escribe disorder disorder d this is the e disorders S O R D E mm -hmm. disorders. Uh -huh. Are made at the time on the crisis. Ready. Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. Number two. Finish, finish my my favorite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the question two. Uh -huh. Full out of communication caused a crisis man management than to file in mitigating financial loss. What does that mean? Who allow? Who allow of communication? Podría la falta de comunicación causar 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 Podría la falta de comunicación. Ser la causa de un plan fallido. Sí. La administración. Yes. Sí. Eh, yes. Do you understand the question? Yes. Uh, the communication is the first, very, very important, important because, yes, because in the emergency, is called uh, quickly, very, very quick, quickly to the manager and the doctor inside the area uh -huh. i think the communication hello karina hello teacher what happened to mayra 
and she said she's in the in the work. Mm. So you were not, but you finished working with her? Yes. Uh, no, she I she can't, I guess. So you didn't you didn't work together? No, I work. Um, only me. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll see each other in the main room in a moment. Okay, very good. So let's discuss these questions. So how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? So we understand, so an inadequate crisis management plan, we understand that it's a plan to manage a crisis, but the plan is not adequate or it's not the correct plan. So how would you define it? In oh. Uh, so Lema, I think we I think you're having problems with the with your internet because we can't hear you very well. Okay. Oh, did she leave? Creo que la sacó. Yeah, I don't, I don't see her anymore. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Anybody else want to share their ideas? Well, well, she connects back again. How would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? Anybody? Or right, I'm gonna have to choose. I think I'm gonna have to choose. Teacher, my word teacher uh, so lack of communication okay so when there's a lack of communication there could be a an inadequate crisis management plan okay very it's good very problem. it's very problem uh, it's in my work. okay it's a big problem it's a big problem yes. Yes, and manager is be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. All right. That's one. Okay. Another idea? Somebody else wants to share their ideas? Be sure to uh, not fall in the established objectives to raise the goals on the in the lack of the coordination of the companies. Okay, okay, good. So not following the, the, the goals, objectives, right? There's no good coordination. Mm -hmm. Good, absolutely, yes, I agree. Anything else? Teacher, yes. in my world, we work for goals. If we do not 
go for the same objective, the finances of the company will be affect, affected. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, um, the just be careful. The word is finances. Finances. Not finances, but fi finances. Okay, but very good. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, anybody else want to share their ideas? Okay, now the next question is, could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead, Zenaida. The communication, the communication is very, very important. Excellent communication depend, dependence on saving lives in an emergency. The first person you should call is the manager of the company so that, they, so that he activates the alarm so that the bri brigadas, how do you say brigadas? Um. Squads. Squads? Squads. Squads meeting at the place of the emergency. Okay. For example, for example, in my job, we have a squad. No, not squads. Squad. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, absolutely. So you have to have very good communications between those squads, right? Mm -hmm. The communication is very quickly. Yes. For the emergency. Exactly. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Anybody else want to add to that? Could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan? to fail in mitigating financial loss? Me, teacher? Yes. Okay, I think the communication is so important because the manager could not do the, could not do the gestion on time and could be risky for the company. Okay, very good. So you can put the, the company at risk. Absolutely, very good. Okay, excellent. Now that we've talked about this, let's talk about this. We have some questions we're going to be answering. First question is, why do, sorry, why do you think, why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? Remember this word from yesterday, right? We looked at the word spooky. What is the meaning of the spooky? Mm -hmm. Exactly, right. Next, how many restaurants were, were part of the research? Right. This is for a number. What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Do we understand? We understand the word theft, right? We saw it yesterday. What is theft? It's robo. Mm -hmm. Robo. Furto. Uh -huh. uh, exactly. Yeah. So um, stealing somebody, something from somebody. Okay. Very good. And fraud. What is fraud? It's very similar to Spanish. Fraud. Fraud. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. Next. What is fraud tactic used by bartenders? Do we understand? We understand uh, tactic, right? It's very similar to Spanish, right? And bartenders, yes. you understand bartenders too, right? Yes. Okay. What was the increase of income 
after the installation of monitoring software. We understand the word income? Yeah, but no increase. Oh, in increase, increase means um, to go up, okay? To rise. Go up, okay? I don't know what, what, means, what it means, income. Income. Income is the amount of money that comes in. Okay, for example, um, your house income, your household income is all the money that comes into your house. So maybe if you work uh, and maybe, um, you know, you live with, um, I don't know, you live with your, your uh, husband and he works and you also live with, um, a, with your sister and she works and all of all the people contribute to the amount of money in the house that's the income all of the the three salaries together are the the household income so all the money that comes in not out but in okay how do you say that in spanish income Ingresos, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you understand installation of monitoring software? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. And next one is, the last one is, what was the change in behavior in the staff? Remember behavior? What is behavior? Comportamiento. Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? The behavior. way someone acts. The way someone acts, right? So what is the change in the way someone acts in the staff? You understand staff, right? What is staff? Yeah. What's another word for staff? A similar, a synonym. Don't tell me in personal. Spanish. Tell me in English. Staff is personal. A similar personal personnel. Similar are at for work. Worker. Okay. Yes. The staff is all the personnel. That's a that's the the synonym. Very good. So what was the change in the way people act in the personnel after the monitoring software was installed? Okay, so these are the questions you're going to answer, and you're going to get the um, you're going to get the information from here. Okay, from this com this uh, this reading. Okay, so I'm going to put you into a, into your pair your your partner again. Okay, you're going to be working in pairs. And you're going to be reading the information and answering the questions. How can you do this? You can read one paragraph each, okay? So maybe you read this paragraph, your partner reads this paragraph. You read this paragraph, your partner reads this paragraph. You read this paragraph, okay? Something like that. So you can take turns reading and then answering the questions. Do we understand the, the instructions? Yes, teacher. We answer about the rocks. Yeah, you answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Questions, okay. But first read out loud. Don't, don't read in silence, read out loud. So you read, you read, your partner reads. You read, your partner reads. You read, your partner reads, okay? So you go back and forth out loud. Say, so you can practice the, the pronunciation, okay? Okay. All right. But before we do that, I'm going to take attendance. Okay. No los quiero mandar sin haber tomado attendance. Okay. So, Alejandra? Present teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Cristina? Present teacher. Okay. There she is. Okay. Excellent. Um, Ani? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Mari? 
Present. Okay, good. Uh, Carolina? Present. Okay, very good. Christy? Present. Okay, very good. And uh, Herson? Present. Okay, very good. Um, Karina? Present. Excellent. Uh, Yvette? Present. Sorry, Linda. No sé por qué le dije el segundo nombre. Sorry, Linda. Um, Julia? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Marlene? I'm here. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Maida. Maida. Okay. Um, Miguel. Russian. Russian. Okay, very good. Um, Nelson. Present the chair. Okay, welcome. Uh, Norma. Present the chair. Okay, very good. Uh, Olga. Present the chair. Okay, very good. Rafa. Present teacher. Excellent. Sanaida. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima. Present teacher. Oh, okay. Present teacher. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Argelia. Argelia. Argelia, Argelia, no, se me salió, okay. Uh, Nancy? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos, no. Karen? Present teacher. Ah, okay, good, excellent. Uh, Suleima? Suleima Milgar? No? And Carla? Yes, Okay, very good. Okay, class. Um, so I'm going to right now. Saben que voy a mejor hacer nuevo grupo porque veo que algunos han ingresado, otros se han ido, entonces mejor lo voy a crear nuevos grupos. Okay. Um, Okay, all right, uh, this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm going to give you about 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes to read and answer the questions. Here we go. First, read. Okay. Okay. I am in start. Or do you do do we start? Hi, Maria. I start. <laughs> I start. I start. Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its and its use revolve around the question 
Is it spoke or resigning about the final issue? Issue is the effect of surveillance or behavior. And a new research paper shown in detail, detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. The research measured the impact of software, the monitor employee level, death and cell transition before and after the technology was stirred up 300, 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee death and, and fraud is a big problem. Estimate at up to 200 billion dollars, billions a year across the economy, most of the restaurant industry, as its service long wait, and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high in the environment a certain amount of the death has long been regarded as normal part of the business. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a roll of drink and urging the customer to take care of me. The large tip on other tactics are more elaborate. But monitoring software is now available to track, to track all transactions and de detect suspicious, Ooh, suspicious parent after the installation of the monitoring software income per restaurant increasing by an average of two nine eighty two wow of two thousand ninety eighty two week a week knowing they were being monitoring the service not only poly their efforts into say prompting customer to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Mm, Mm -hmm. um, we must answer the we must answer the question yes you must answer the questions okay okay Karina okay okay uh -huh. number one is well, we do people things. Why do people? Why? Eh, number one, we do people things. Esa palabra surveillance. Uh, surveillance. 
I'm not sure. Surveillance. Surveillance. Uh, surveillance. Surveillance. Okay, surveillance. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. surveillance is considered is considered spooky. 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 Sorry. Okay, people. Yeah. Right, the people think is team surveillance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dicen, porque la gente piensa, uh, okay. mm. ¿por qué la gente piensa que su vigilancia es espeluznante? Así es. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, veamos. Mm. Why, 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 why. Okay. Señor, soy tu pasión, Why do people think surveillance is concert is? Ah, uh, porque la gente yeah. piensa que la vigilancia mm. es. Es pelunante en teoría, pero puede ser que sea es mala o es pésima. Mm. Maybe because, okay. because the, 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 my. What is the, the word? Um, the, the fraud, the death and, and fraud is a, is a problem that in, in, in these days is something normal, maybe for, for, the, for, for a lot of people. And if if the if the companies implement the surveillance, I I don't know how 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 we can make the the answer. Okay. Or yeah. uh, um. La question and it, it is the, the, it is spooky. Ah, aquí está la palabra esa. Escalofriante. Olga, uh -huh. eh, Olga, I'm sorry. Carito, give me one moment, please. Okay. All, okay, Senaida. Para aumentar los ingresos después de ganar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But what is it by the trial of translation in the task matter? After the translation of the artist. What was the increase of income after the translation? No. Monitoring software. Income per restaurant increases by in English. Dice que 
After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of two two thousand million. No, come on, two thousand. Eighty-two a week. Uh huh. Number five. Thousand nine eighty-two. Is this is is the answer? Income per restaurant increased by an average. Yes. Crazy. Increased by an average of 2,000. I am sure the income ingresses. Well. Mm -hmm. Ay, lo siento. No se preocupe. No problem. Uh -huh. Ingresos por restaurante. Increase, increase. Incremento. Origin. 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 Origin the customers to take care. To take care of me. El cliente cuide de mí. ¿Cuál? Instando. Instando al cliente que cuide de mí. Uh -huh. Clientes, take care of me with a large tip. Con una gran propina será. Other tactics are more elaborate. Otras tácticas son más elaboradas. Mm -hmm. Le dejamos así, no charging, no charging for a charging round of drinks. Round of drink. Yes. Drink. Okay. And number and five. five. What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? Mm -hmm. What was the, the increase of income? El incremento de los ingresos después de la instalación. Ah. Okay. Okay. Do you want to read the but, last part? Yes. Okay, but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. No sé qué significa patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an Average of two to two thousand, no sé, two thousand nine hundred eighty-two a week. Knowing they were begin. Bueno, ahí está la cantidad según el párrafo. <laughs> In my previous job, two, two thousand. No, every no. every day, 
every day the the security personnel catch thief every day casi casi todos los días agarraban ladrones con cosas with expensive things expensive. like perfumes or, or jewelry and clothes expensive clothes jewelry 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 jewelry, jewelry. 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 Okay. So, is it a very important thing? I think it's a, it's a, the servers not only pull it back on any unical practice. Because it says uh, it's about the the change in in the behavior behavior behavior. Siempre se me olvida esa palabra. Yeah, I think is is is. The servers not only pull it back on any ultimate practice. Mm -hmm. No, no, sé dónde leyó lo. But I told Chan Chandler their effort into. Mm -hmm. Maybe when the servers, knowing they were, when knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pull back, but their efforts into, say, prompting customer to have that dessert. No, I think it's only only the the, the cookie hey. the beginning. Knowing they were beginning being monitoring the service, not only pull back on any unical practice. Porque se dieron cuenta y, y no hicieron las cosas como eso. And then it's on at the agregando uh, like propping customer to have the dessert or second beer. Why so quiet? <laughs> um, because my mother is called me back for dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 I finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then talk about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is there? My mother is is asking me for the if I go to the place when where 
he she is eating or on I don't go in. Okay. <laughs> or you don't go. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. We're gonna go to the main room in a moment, okay? Actually, okay. I'm, I'm actually gonna return you right now. Okay. Okay. All right, guys and girls, I hope you had enough time. Um, to check out the answers. So let's start with the first one. The first question we have is, why do people, why do people think surveillance is so why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? What would you answer? Why is surveillance considered spooky? Mm -hmm. What did you say? What was your answer? Uh-huh. Anybody? Chicos, solo veo la mitad de ustedes. La otra mitad no sé si está ahí o qué les pasó. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why do people consider it spooky? Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yes. Because the people doesn't want to be watching all the time. Okay, not they don't want to be watched all the time. That's right. Okay. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay. How many restaurants were part of the research? 392. 392. Good. 392. Mm -hmm. Um Okay, and the next question is, what is the estimated cost of employee theft and, pro and fraud? Two hundred billion dollars a year. Okay, we pronounce it billion, not billion, billion. 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 It's not billion. billion. It's, it's it's billion 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 what euros dollars what Dollars, dollars, exactly. Yeah, you got to make sure that we understand because some, um, you know, it, it doesn't. It could be like in different currencies. Okay, next. What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? One of the tactics used by server is that do not change for a round, for a round for a round of, of drink, drink and, and current customers to give them a large tip. Uh-huh, very good, exactly. So they won't charge the round of drinks, but they want money. They want a big, uh, a big um, tip. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next question. Uh, 
What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring so software? Thousand nine hundred eighty-two dollars. Yeah, an average of two thousand. Thousand nine nine hundred and eight two dollar for for week. Perdón. Per week, yeah, yeah, per week. Uh, very good. Mm -hmm. Good. And the last question is: What was the chart, the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? The, the behavior change of the staff after installing the monitoring software is that the wire retrator any only practice they also channel their efforts to entice customer to have that desert of second beer for example Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the employees stopped applying unethical practices. So that was one. And the second thing is they started implementing upselling techniques. An example of those upselling techniques was the dessert and the second beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Um, okay. All right. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, um, I'm actually going to leave this part for homework, okay? So listen carefully because um, you, and we're not going to do it in class. Uh, you're going to do it for homework. I'm going to ask you to circle words that you don't know how to pronounce from the article and words that you don't understand the meaning, okay? So that tomorrow when I ask you, you quickly just give me the words, okay? So go back, read the article, circle words that you don't know the meaning, circle words that you don't understand how to pronounce it or you're not sure, okay? Is that pretty clear? We understand what the homework is? It's clear, teacher. For me, it's clear. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Good. So we're going to continue then. Um, next part. Um, Okay, so, okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do your turn. It says, write a 10 paragraph, um, write a 10 paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee servants at your workplace. State at least three reasons to support your position. So, Right now, think about in your workplace, is this a good idea for you? Do you think this is good or bad? Write 10 line paragraph in your notebook. I'm gonna give you a chance right now. Okay, do we understand what to do? Okay, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, go for it then. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, 10 line for paragraph. Uh, the paragraph, uh, the most of the public. This is for your workplace, not. Ah, okay. Yeah, not I'm in sorry. I understand. Yeah, it's for the surveillance at your workplace. So think about specifically your workplace. Is this a good idea or a bad idea in your workplace? And you got to give three reasons minimum to support your position. So three reasons why you're in favor or three reasons why you're against it. Okay. Okay, teacher. 
All right. Teacher. Yes. Individual. Yes, individually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll give you uh, a chance to do that right now. If you guys need help with vocabulary or grammatical questions, I'm here to help you.
I'm going to stop sharing so I can see everybody's faces because like this, I can't see everybody. Well, right now I can't see everybody either. I only see half of you guys. <laughs> Not all your cameras are on. There we go, we see a little bit more. No questions, class? Anything you want to ask me? No? Okay, guys, um, do you think we can finish in like three minutes or do you think you need more time? I need more time, teacher, please. Okay. Five? Five minutes? Five minutes, okay. Five minutes it is. All right. Estamos.
We have a new participant. Hola. Hello. 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 <laughs> How are you? I fine this year. Oh. <laughs> He's going to learn very quickly. <laughs> okay, guys, five minutes is up. So we finished. Yes, we're finished. Yes, no, what? Tell me. Cass? Yes. Yes? Okay. If you have not finished, you can finish that for homework as well. And we're gonna we're going to be um, checking it tomorrow, okay? What we're gonna do, we have a few minutes left of our class and we're going to move on with new vocabulary. We're gonna be looking at vocabulary. So um, don't forget to finish that for tomorrow, okay? So, um, okay, so that was our activity. Now we have a uh, vocabulary here, it says, match these terms related to training and personnel development to their meanings, then check answers with a classmate. So we have vocabulary here, we have goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, and qualifications. I'll repeat, please repeat after me. Goal, 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 goal. feedback, goal. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Coaching. 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 And qualifications. Qualifications. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So um, I want you to match what you think would be the best idea. So we have a quality that makes someone suitable. Suitable is like uh, appropriate. Okay, so suitable for a particular job. So they are the appropriate person for the job. An estimation of income and expenses. What are expenses? Gastos. Gastos, exactly, very good. Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Performance, what is performance? What is performance? Desarrollo o desenvolver. Desempeño. Desempeño. Desempeño, exactly. Um, the process of improving, making better, the performance of an employee. Employee is the person that works, right? A desired result, so it's a, desu it's a result that you want, or possible outcome. Outcome is a result. It's another word for a result. An irregular balance, okay, balance, of what a person should know, okay? So try to match the vocabulary. This 
teacher, what is criticism? A criticism comes from the word to criticize. Criticize. You understand criticize? It's very similar to Spanish. Criticize. No. The verb. Criticize. Uh, criticize. Oh, actually, I think it's with an S. Criticize. Criticize. Criticar. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes. Okay, are you ready to check? Are we ready to check? You got it? Yes. 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 All right, let's check. Let's see if we got this. It says to check with a classmate, but we're not going to check with one classmate. We're going to check with all our classmates. Okay. So let's start with the, oh, sorry. No, sorry. Let's start with goal. What is the goal? A desired result of, or possible outcome. Very good. Our goal is a desired, a, a desired result. Okay, so that's what you want. That's what, your goal is what you want to achieve, what result you want. Okay. Next, feedback. Helpful information. Helpful information or criticism. Uh, about the performance, performance of the performance of a person. Of a person. Good, exactly. So helpful, a helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Mm -hmm. Budget. An estimation, uh, estimation of and expenses. Good. Estimation of of income and expenses, right? Income is what you get, what like the money that comes in. Expenses is the money that goes out. See the difference there. So that's the budget. Okay. All right. Next we have knowledge gap. Uh, quality and does regular balance of what a person show no. Good. A uh, knowledge gap. What is gap? In Spanish, what is gap? Brecha. Mm, brecha de conocimiento. Aha, una brecha. So the, if there is a, a knowledge gap, it means that there is a there is a gap for the information that you should know. You should know that, and there is a gap. It's not complete. Okay. Coaching. The process process, the process in providing performance of an employee. Good, exactly. The process of improving the, the performance of an employee. And finally, qualification is? A quality that makes some, someone suitable. Suitable? A me and regular a particular balance. show. Good, exactly, exactly. 
So qualification, how do you say qualification in Spanish? Resultados. Mm -mm. No. I, I want to make sure everybody understands this because qualifications is not calificaciones. Adecuado. Mm. Punto. Puntuación. No. Calidad. Calidades. Sorry, could you repeat that? Como calificado es. Ah, calificado. Mm -hmm. um, like, we could say um, los requisitos. Qualifications, like requisitos. Okay? Yeah? All right, any questions so far? No? Not the chair, not the chair. Okay, all right, we're gonna leave it there. Remember, your homework is two things. Um, the homework is two things. First thing is um, you have to, Complete this, right? Make sure you have the 10 line paragraph. That's for tomorrow. And the other thing is you have to circle vocabulary from this article uh, that you don't know and you don't know how to pronounce. So that in between the two things, mo the most that should take you is probably like, I don't know, 10 minutes, okay? 10, 15 minutes, okay? All right, I'm gonna stop sharing right now and we're going to take attendance. Okay, eh, como siempre, um, uh, pueden um, abrir sus micrófonos eh, para que puedan contestar cuanto antes, rapidito. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, Alejandra. Present, chair. Very good. Um, Cristina. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ani? Present teacher. Excellent. Mari? Present. Okay, good. Uh, Carolina? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Cristina? Or Christy, sorry, Christy. Christy? Ah. Present teacher. Good, excellent. Uh, Herson? Present. Okay. Very good. Karina? Present. Linda? Present teacher. Mm, Julia? Present. Mm, Marlene? Present. Um, Mayra? Mayra? Nelson, did you open up your microphone? No. Nelson? Usted está trabado. No le veo movimiento. Okay. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Okay. Olga? Present teacher. Uh, Rafa? Present teacher. Oh, okay. There he is, okay. Olga? Present teacher. Rafa? Present teacher. Zenaida? Present teacher. Eh, Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Argelia. Argelia. Nancy. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. 
Eh, Suleima Melgar. Present. And Carla. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so that will be all. Um, remember, continue working on the platform, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night.